the story behind Pinky Promise. All right, Pinky Promise hmm, is about my traumas, you know, after my girlfriend had passed away, but not dealing with her passing, but more of the relationships I got in after her passing, meaning like I didn't realize it till after my whole mm -hmm, but when I was talking to this one girl, when she wouldn't text me back, when she wouldn't call me, it would send me into a panic attack, so much anxiety and so much, ugh, and I, that's never been me. For somebody's, you know, not to text me back, I've never been so anxious. But yeah, um, this song was after realizing that trauma and working against it, and that's why I say I can't let the ghost of you haunt me because I'm not letting her not call me back affect my mental struggles and my happiness and my daily life, period. Okay, talk to us about the concept behind the visual. The concept behind the visual. Okay, so cheesy. It was. It's very cheesy with the blanket ghost. I love it. That's exactly what I was going for. Um, I wanted to be very happy and jumpy, you know, show off more of my, my grooviness because I didn't really get to show that off in a lot of my last songs and music videos. But, yeah, it's, um, it's basically we kind of tried to go for a cheesy paranormal activity vibe, like if something was happening. I got my little sister in the cut to dance with me under the blanket. And, yeah, happy vibes. Oh yeah, and then this is also my crib. I, we also did it in my room, which is very cool piece. You know that people won't probably wouldn't even know. So yeah, you know how it gets. It's a little bit as as real as it gets over here. You know. Okay, what's your goal with the sound and the music you're bringing? My goal with the music, my whole purpose for my sound and what I speak about is to help people grow in a happy sense um a lot of people who get into this industry how i did would take a different route you know go to the drugs and rap about how sad i am but my songs bring out the sadness but with a, a motivational piece to all of them to where it's not the end you know what i mean we're still pushing forward even though it's all sad over here you feel me what can your fans expect from this new music that you're bringing to them? Oh, man. What can my fans expect? I don't think they're expecting any of this. Honestly, it's very it's very new, and I've evolved so much from what I used to drop that, that nobody could see this coming. I feel like my vision and my sound has evolved to a point where I could be one of the greatest in the world. And I say that with no fear. So expect the uh, expect the next the first Damien. Yeah, expect that. <laughs>